shall yon railing from twenty feet afar from, thee and Scat shall wax it down again. And this time do it right. Aye, aye. Snipe, tug, crow. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Me. Have you polished up the anchor? Polished the anchor to a fair to be well, Mr. Me. Have you scraped the barnacles from the bow? I, Mr. Me, and gave him a good talking to besides. Crow! Where be the captain's teeth? I have not gone to fetch yet, Mr. Smee. The noonday sun above us be, and yet the captain has no teeth? No, Mr. Smee. Then get below and fetch it, ma'am. <laughs> Everything is ship shape, and the captain hook, and the fair winds behind us to boot. Well done, Smee. Would you care to join me for a game of chess, maybe? Chess? Indeed, Captain. If I could read or count to ten, perhaps I'd join me. But no, thank ye just the same. Might I interest the Captain in a friendly round of spit in the bucket? Perhaps some other time. Carry on. Thank aye, you. aye, Captain. There was a time where I had attractive friends. People of substance. People who went around saying, pardon me, and pleasant day, but no more. So much promise, so much potential wasted on this pirate ship. Oh, no, what is 
means. No one's ever done this before. Mayhaps I should go hide below with the others. Splendid <laughs> idea. Why don't you go hide below? Crow! Ah! <laughs> the news is true. That means your fan is somehow found a passage well and true. Lead through, I imagine, this. Advantage. A fact that my worthless crew cannot undo. It's up to you, Captain. Huh. You'll be back, Pan. Wherever you've gone to, you'll be back. And when you return, I'll be there to greet you with open arms. <laughs>
explain again who the wet lady got away. She did not get away. I never had her in the first place. She was flying through the air with Pan Man and two, uh, two others. She might have been our mother. She might have been their mother, holy cow. What was I supposed to do? You should have tied her up and dragged her back to our camp. <laughs> Tie up someone's mother and drag her through the dust? Curry chicken, you've been running in the sun too long. Enough. If she is if she is our mother, she will come back to us. If she is not our mother, then wherever she goes does not matter. Chief Hound Dog has spoken. <laughs> Chief Hound Dog? Yes, Prairie Chicken? Maybe she was looking for her maybe she was searching for her children. Maybe she forgot where she left them. If that's the case, then we should tie her up and wait till the river returns. <laughs> be still, Prairie Chicken. Leap and lizard. You might be right. Well, a lady could belong to any one of us and might not know it. Let's go on top of the hills and try to spot her. Prairie Chicken, you stay where I can see you. Chief Hound Dog has spoken. Ha! Just don't leave it to the ass crocodile. For heaven's sake, 
Peter. Let him go. He seems perfectly harmless. She's right. I'm harmless. Let me go. I'll let you go for Wendy's sake, provided you perform a service. Anything, anything. Tell the hook that we have a mother now to read us stories, tuck us in, and to tell us when our shirts are inside out. <laughs> tell him that, and I'll let you go. I'll tell him. Let him up. <laughs> and now, my friends, allow me to introduce you to John and Michael and our new mother, Wendy. Peter, there are so many here. I don't see how they, I could be mother to them all. Oh, we promise we'll always do as we're told and we'll always be fed by eight and we'll whatever we're given. Just please be our mother, Wendy.
window? Peter? And a turtle shell for you to use as a desk? Peter? And bright green moss for carpet? Peter? Would you prefer gray moss? No, Peter, listen to me. John and Michael and I already live in a house near Kensington Gardens, Peter dear. Is it our home? What do you mean? I mean, we cannot stay here forever. <coughs> Why not? Well, to begin with, we couldn't leave our parents. They would miss us terribly, especially on our birthdays and at Christmas. And we'd fall behind on school, as I doubt there is such a place here. Certainly not. And we didn't pack and change of clothes. Soon we'd be as rumpled and as dirty as, as... As who? Peter, dear, you are such a charming little man, and never landed such a beautiful and exciting little island. But it is not our home. John and Michael won't stay. They told me so themselves. Michael is too young to decide where he should be, and John is simply too much a boy. And what is that supposed to mean? Like you, Peter, he is too easily influenced by the prospect of adventure. It clouds his judgment. I see. So you won't be our mother after all? Oh, Peter, it's not that I wouldn't like to be your mother. I consider myself to be a very motherly person indeed. It's just that I have so little experience, and there are so many of you. I don't, and you seem to thrive on, thrive on danger, which I believe to be a very unreasonable behavior indeed. I see. And I miss my own home and my own parents. Peter? What? Would you like me to tell you another story? I haven't got time for stories, Wendy. Not today or tomorrow either, I think. In fact, I am certain that I will be very busy hunting pirates for the next several years. So it would be best if you and your brothers would leave as soon as possible. Peter! Peter, come back! Oh dear, I should have known no good would come of flying out the window. I should have known. Hey there. I beg your pardon? I am Chief Hound of the Wiener Buns. This is Prairie Chicken. This is Sleeping Lizard. And this is Holy Cow. Woo! The rest of them have names, but there is no time to introduce them right now. Hey, girl. I see. Is there something I can do for you? You can be our mother. Be your... Did Peter Pan send you to ask me that? Say to whoever you will, young man, my answer remains the same. Why is she talking in the back direction? We are over here. Maybe she is hard of hearing. We will move closer. <laughs> Me, Chief Hound Dog of the Wiener Buns. This is... Yes, yes, you've told me all your names. I'm glad to meet you, but first, you must back up. You are making it difficult for me to breathe. Thank you. Will you come peacefully or should we tie you up and drag you back to our camp in a sack? <laughs> we apologize for Perry I... Chicken. He is high strung. Now we leave. But I'm very tired and... Excuse me, Mr. Hound Dog. Chief Hound Dog. <clears throat> Chief Hound Dog. But I am very tired and would like to go to bed. Perhaps we could discuss this tomorrow? Tomorrow we... Tomorrow we ride at dawn. Today we get mother. You come with us. If this is the way mothers are treated in Neverland, it's no wonder they've all gone away. <laughs> Explain. If you really want me to be your mother, first you let, let, must let go of my arms. It is impolite to hold a lady's arms against her will. And now you must say, dear lady. Dear, dear lady. lady. We would be very pleased. We would be very pleased. If you would do us the honor, if you would do us the honor of being our mother, of being our mother, well, I'll think about it tomorrow. You think about it tonight on a motorcycle. Bring her now. You are misunderstanding my question. I have here, children, for my. Wiener bun was spotted east 
piece of dead man's coat. Oh. Let's take these children back to the key and see what kind of flies they're trapping. I'll like a glass of water if you please, sir. <laughs> oh, it's me. Gag them. And let's make sure we find them a very large container of water. Saw the wiener bones moving in from the west with Pam. They're all gathering on the cliff. Did you 
Bad children? Can hasn't accepted my invitation. He's bringing guests. When Pan gets here, you'll be sorry. If Pan doesn't get here, I'll be much, much sorry. Me, take the men into the underbrush and prepare them to welcome our visitors. Um, children, look pathetic as possible, if you would. Yes, Michael. Cool. Why do we just run away? Because the pirates have longer legs than we do. <laughs> Will Peter rescue us? Maybe. Will he make the pirates go away? Maybe. Will the pirates make him go away? I don't know. John? Yes, Michael. Yes, Michael. Is Wendy all right? I don't know that either. Michael, I guess John? In case, you know, in case, you know, we don't make it out of this alive. I want you to know I'm sorry for never letting you play with my Beatle collection. That's all right. And I'm sorry about all the times I walked you in the linen closet. Don't mind me. <laughs> as far as little brothers go, I believe you've done well above average. Thanks. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. How very grim. How very sad. Perhaps the most unpleasant day we Fine. Stand down and 
you wish. It is a delicate task to win such a dangerous boy's wings. A task best performed by a master. I'm not alone, Buck. Well, that's like a bloody well see, boy. Now raise your weapon. My weapon is right, Tuck. What the devil are you talking about? Listen.
I told y'all that was a horror show. Really, really good job. like Beauty and the Beast, that's probably, or Aladdin, they've had 45 or 35 lines, that's the hardest part of those shows, but in this show, uh, Peter Pan, Wendy, and Captain Hook stand up. In this show, they have like 88 plus lines. That's how much they learned. In I want to say three and a half days, because the first day we did auditions and we kind of got through the show a little bit. Really, really impressed with that. Sit down, that's all you get. Um, yes. Give him one more big round of applause. And now, you can never let them tell you they can't do their math homework.